Hello, today we need to be creative and not the game mode. To build a maze that is full of traps and obstacles. It's not supposed to be easy, but rather hard and sometimes just annoying. But it all started from this. Yo guys, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. I see you building all sorts of cool stuff in your recent videos, but I want something different. What do you mean? You don't like fun stuff? I do, but make something hard and challenging once in a while. I mean, okay, we can do that. Lauri, what do you think? Okay, my idea is to make a huge maze, but instead of the regular square shape, we are gonna design it to be a circular maze. And usually the mazes are empty, but ours will be full of traps. But how are you going to get the circular maze layout to Minecraft? Getting the shape to Minecraft was an easy process. I went to a maze generator and downloaded an image of the maze. Then dragged it into Photoshop and made it pixelated. Opened up a Minecraft pixel art generator and turned that into Minecraft blocks. Imported the pixel art into Minecraft and I had this flat image. Removed some blocks, did this, did that and boom! We had a maze layout easy as that. Of course, it's not going to be built out of this random concrete block. We are going for stone bricks. I need about 76,000 of them. That is easy to get since look at how much stone we have here. Also here and even here next to my bed. This just proves how much work we have done in this world. The crafting part is an easy job now. We just need 76,000 or 44 sharker boxes full of stone bricks. Before we collect the rest of the blocks, I wanna tell you about our sponsor. Imagine a world where you could leave your computer, then come back later on and your computer had earned you rewards. Well, that world is today with Salad, a free application putting your computer to work while you're not using it. In addition to Salad using your graphics card power, they just introduced a new earnings method called bandwidth sharing. To explain it easily, if you have an internet speed of 100 megabytes per second and only using like 20 megabytes of it to watch YouTube, you can rent out the rest of it. All you have to do is download the Salad app and enable bandwidth sharing in the performance tab. It is that simple. When signing up right now with the link in the description, use the special code MAZE in the Salad app to get double the earnings for a limited time. Make money while you sleep, literally. And thanks Salad for sponsoring this video. Then we headed to collect all sorts of blocks for our traps in the maze. I need to find the war motion now. Oh yes, here we have it. Now I just gotta dive deep underwater and find the little buffer fish guys. There you are, you little buffer fish. But as I get close to it, it turns into buffer fish. This trap is gonna be so good. I want our maze to be full of traps and for those we need a lot of various blocks like lava. Cause every good trap has the water of devil somewhere and hopes you will take a swim. The glass panes will make for a great obstacle course. And for the tightrope walking, I'm gonna use some iron bars. There has to be a trap with the gob webs. This is probably the most annoying block that you can fall through. But more pain, more gain. Sticking with the team of annoying blocks, I started up my honey farm to get the honey blocks, which are really annoying to walk on and should be a good trap in the maze. The next block is so sneaky that even I fall into it sometimes. Of course, I'm talking about the powder snow. One pressure blade may be too obvious on what we are planning, so instead I'm gonna make tons of these to confuse people on what the pressure blade or which one actually does something. Soul sand is another great annoying block you walk really slow on. After 4 hours we had collected all the blocks for our amazing maze. Sorry, I just had to. Then started looking around for a flat spot around our home, where we could actually build it. So I imagine our maze being this big circle right here between all of these biomes. Right now we set up a little camp right here with all of the shulker boxes. And now we just need to build the outer wall of the maze. Let's go. Meow. See guys, we made a circle. Now let's get landscaping. Shulker landscaping started with removing all the trees. This reveals us the actual ground below it that we have to work with. Yo, look at this. This is a naturally generated water that is the perfect circle. What are the chances of that?
All the trees are now removed and we can start doing the landscaping. Some of the areas need to be removed and some needs to be filled in. To be honest, the ground looked flatter when we first picked this area. That is why we took some emerald blocks and built the beacon. Haste effect is our lord and savior. One thing always happens with the ground removal. We plan it out and it seems like an okay amount of work. Then we start doing it and are like, oh crap, this is not as easy as we thought. So it always takes way longer than we think. But that was not the only thing here. The rest of the area is too low and needs blocks to make it flat. Finishing touches with the landscape is to connect everything and make it look nice all around. The whole process took exactly 5 hours from start to finish. We just finished the landscaping all around the circle and it looks very nice. Now we can start building the inside of the maze. And we also found this spawner that we left here and we are going to make a trap out of it in the maze. Building a layout precisely like planned takes a lot of time and brain cells. You can't mess up a single block, otherwise the whole maze will be misaligned. But thanks to this hard work we got the time lapse that looks just amazing. Just to get the layout built out we spent 4 and a half hours. We have the layout of the maze ready and I think it looks pretty difficult. Here is the beginning and you are supposed to get all the way to the middle. Now we also wanna make it full of traps, but before we do that, we need to build up these walls to be 5 blocks high, so you can't see above them. I hope you guys remember that even if we finish the walls, this maze is not ready. We have planned some really good trap ideas, and I can't wait to show you those. After two and a half hours, the walls were ready. Looks like the wandering trader has already finished the maze. What the awesome guy. How are they so quick? Finally, we can do my favorite part. Building the traps into the maze. I think trap building is quite boring to watch. So let me just show it to you in one second. <laughs> okay, that was really fast. But before I show you those, we need an entrance and also a finishing area. Bada bim bada boom and these are ready. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? I'm sure you guys wanna see the traps we built into the maze. So let me show you our favorite ones. And probably get lost in there while we do that. It all starts with you having to put away all the stuff into the ender chest. Even the armor. Then you can go through the one way lava wall. Oh the wall is pretty slow. But once you go through, there is no going back. Especially when you set the home to this bed. In this maze you can find traps like the honey trap, which doesn't really kill you, but just makes walking really annoying. And now I don't know which way is the next trap. Oh yeah, it is a maze after all. This one will kill you if you don't manage to complete the parkour. There's also these cool looking temples all around the maze, that might give you an advantage if you take the secret route. I also like this trap over here. Do you see these guys swimming over there? The buffer fishes definitely don't want you to go through, Lauri. Another trap we did is the void. It could be just one block deep or a hundred blocks deep, but it's safer just to avoid it. There are tons of more traps and secret rest and stuff, but I think the best way for you to experience this maze is to play it yourself. So we are leaving a word download down below. Definitely go try it out since it was so much fun to build and I am really happy on how it turned out. Thanks for watching and don't get lost in the maze. See ya! Bye!